thank you so much for joining me tonight here on the good groove you can listen again to the deeper cuts mix and the 90s party mix in the bbc sounds app just search the good groove uh, johnny walker's up next with the rock show and i'll be back with the good groove next friday night from nine o'clock and i hope that you can join me and as well as joining me i hope you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend We'll be back from nine o'clock. I'll see you then. This is BBC Radio 2 on the BBC Sounds app, on your smart speaker and on 88 to 91 FM. BBC News at 11 o'clock. This is Adam Porter. The government has described a decision by nurses in England to hold a further two days of strikes at the end of the month as hugely disappointing. The Royal College of Nursing voted to reject the government's latest pay offer. Ministers welcomed a separate decision by members of the Unison Union to accept it. The Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, said it was the best thing for staff and patients. For a typical midwife or a physiotherapist, this is over £5,000 increase in pay this year and last, and £2,000 cost of living payment. And I think it's premature to say what's going to happen next, um, but we strongly urge the NHS unions that are still voting to support this deal. The General Secretary of the RMT, Mick Lynch, has urged members of the union to take time to understand the details of a fresh pay offer from train companies before making a decision on whether to accept it. The rail delivery group, which hopes to end months of strikes about pay, jobs and conditions, said the new proposals were fair. President Biden has directed the US intelligence community to further limit the distribution of sensitive information after a 21-year-old member of the National Guard was accused of leaking classified documents. Jack Teixeira appeared in court today and faces up to 15 years in prison if he's convicted. Mark Chutkow is a former US federal prosecutor. What makes this case uh, harmful and more significant is that the real-time nature of the information. Um, This uh, potentially reveals sources and methods of intelligence gathering of the United States. It provides information to the Russians, munitions and uh, other battlefield tactics of uh, Ukraine and uh, supply of Ukraine by other countries. France's President Emmanuel Macron says he'll enact changes to the country's pension system within days. This afternoon, the country's Constitutional Council approved the reforms, which would see a hike in the pension age from 62 to 64. A growing number of life-changing allergies have been linked to a reaction caused by some gel nail polishes. Dermatologists say those affected are unable to benefit from medical procedures such as joint replacements because they can't be exposed to certain chemicals. Laura Davis from Cheltenham had been doing her own gel nails for years when she developed an allergy. It was quite painful, but I just put Savlon on it and sort of tried to just carry on. And then I soaked the gel off. There was huge like white patches all over my nails and they're lifting away from the nail bed. And you could see I had like black spots and like lines in my nails. It was like blood vessels bursting underneath the nails, which was just dreadful. Mark Sheehan, who co-founded the Irish band The Script, has died aged 46 after a brief illness. The Irish president, Michael D. Higgins, praised the guitarist for promoting the country's music across the world. BBC News, it's three minutes past 11. One, two, three... Oh, make me over. You guys ready? Now, the Radio 2 Rock Show with Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker. BBC Radio 2. Carry on my.